So we're going to try a little experiment. This uh, video is called Growing the Microgreens in a New Jersey Greenhouse. So these are the, these are the microgreens. There's lots of them. And uh, this is a new experiment, so we're going we're gonna to see what happens. So this is, uh, well this is all the sage plants that I have. I have one, two, three, six sage plants. I've got an elephant ear. And then some kind of palm. So we're gonna plant these in and see how they do. So we've planted the microgreens. We'll actually we'll see if they work. It says seven to fourteen days, and I'll have harvested microgreens. So we'll see. We'll see how this experiment works in the New Jersey greenhouse somewhere in South Jersey. So this is that's the greenhouse from this side. It's a huge greenhouse. So. Growing microgreens in New Jersey. We'll see what happens. Could happen. I'd like to be able to put some microgreens in my soup. So it's going to be continued because it's going to take some time, and we're going to, we don't not going to do time lapse, but we'll show the process of the microgreens. All right, to be continued. Please like and subscribe. Smash the like button. All right, so we're at the greenhouse, and uh, apparently there's. Everyone's afraid of the swine flu. So uh, the guy that's running the greenhouse had his mask over his nose. Uh, but the lady that was there was afraid. She was very afraid. So she told me to go get the mask, which I got, but it's not effective. It's basically having a mask is like trying to keep mosquitoes out with a chain link fence. It's stupid, ridiculous, and it doesn't work. And it's 95% on effective. But if you think it works, then, you know, whatever. It doesn't work. But I will comply because I need to use my greenhouse. So look, you guys, my plants have sprouted. Joe took care of them. He watered them, and he sent them love, and they sprouted. <laughs> Very cool. And everything else looks good, right? The, ele the elephant ears are growing. They look great. Everything looks great. The elephant ears are growing. The palm's growing. The sage is growing. You feed them? Everything is growing. Um, okay, hey guys, how are you? It's Herb. So this is the microgreens. This is the third week. You get me wet there, buddy. <laughs> they're growing probably one more week and they're ready to harvest, I think. And then the sage is doing good. We've got six sage plants. So please like and subscribe. We're up to 250 videos on branding and marketing on a budget. And uh, this is an awesome greenhouse. Thanks and have an amazing and awesome day. All right, so this is like the fourth week for the microgreens. So they are growing. I'm gonna try to harvest a few of them and see how it works. Again, this is growing microgreens inside a New Jersey greenhouse. But the rest of the stuff, the sage looks great. The elephant ears are growing, the palm's growing, and then someone gifted me some kale and some lettuce. So we'll see how, how that goes. So I'm going to try to harvest this and see. So this is what we got. Not a lot, but we'll put some in some soup. So please like and subscribe if you like the content, and uh, we'll keep doing our thing, Lobster Lab Media. Alright, so here's the washing of the microgreens, in case there's any kind of stuff from the greenhouse, so washing of the microgreens. All right, all right, and there we have it. The microgreens on top of the soup. So voila, Chef a la Lobster. The completed project, microgreens grown in a greenhouse, landing on soup. All right, please like and subscribe. See you soon. See you from the beach. Oh yeah, I live at the beach.